everyone, this is Shin Kuragami, and this is the classic 1983 G.I. Joe cover girl and the G.I. Joe Wolverine missile tank. First, we have cover girl. Cover girl was the first and only female driver from 1983 to 1992. She first appeared in G.I. Joe Episode 1 of A Real American Hero. Originally, Covergirl has long blonde hair, but later episodes, they change it to short and brown. As you can see here. And here's Covergirl. Covergirl wears a brown aviator jacket with a Wolverine insignia on her left shoulder. She wears a tan shirt, dark green belt, light brown pants, dark brown boots, dark green shin guards, a gun holster, and a mini computer. Her face is actually beautiful. She's one of the first female characters to have lipstick on. There are two variants for this figure. The figure on the right side has brown eyebrows and light green belt. The figure on the left side has dark brown eyebrows and a dark green belt. She also comes with a file card. And now for articulation. Cover girl can turn her head left and right. Her arms has 360 degrees of articulation, can go forward and back, sideways, forearms can pivot left and right, up to 360 degrees, elbows can bend, waist can be twist left and right, legs can go forward, but not really back. Can do a semi split. Knees can bend. Cover Girl is one spectacular figure. Very easy to pose and quite fun to play with. But for today's standards, Cover Girl is not as articulated as her 25th or 30th anniversary counterparts. Here we got the G.I. Joe Wolverine Missile Tank. The G.I. Joe Wolverine Missile Tank is a surface-to-surface -surface missile tank. But in the cartoon series, it's also a surface-to-air missile tank for a retro-style SAM unit. Retro style, baby! Can roll back and forth thanks to Bogey Wheels. These guys. Turret can turn 360 degrees. This rack can pivot up and down up to 90 degrees. Like this. The missiles are removable. Engine cover can be opened. For an 80s toy, the Wolverine missile tank is really detailed. For instance, the sleeping bags, hatch, vents, tow hook line, the United States of America, thread wheels. A kit tool case, rear tow hooks, the Wolverine sign, sledgehammer, shovel, tow hook line, and missile rack. And here's the Wolverine front, rear, sides, top. It 
can sit one joke. And that is reserved for copper. These are the parts and accessories for the G.I. Joe Wolverine. The US box has the traditional G.I. Joe artwork. At the back, the picture of Covergirl, the Wolverine, and her file card. And these are the international release for the G.I. Joe Wolverine missile tank. The Wolverine comes with an instruction manual and a blueprint of the Wolverine itself. Pose ability wise, it's a tank. It doesn't really pose. <laughs> what do you expect guys? Together, they are outstanding. Simply a must have for your collection, whether you're a G.I. Joe fan or not. Both are really hard to find these days. Your best bet are online specialty stores, eBay or toy conventions. Well, that's it for now. This is Shin Kuragami again for Project Dark Core. Till next time.